Welcome to Spotlight on SQL Server Enterprise video on how to install Spotlight. To begin with, as with all installers, please confirm that you've met all system requirements by visiting the system requirements page of our release notes document. Next, download the installation files from the download software section of our support portal page. Here you'll see two installers. The exe install will offer installation of the Spotlight Diagnostic Server and the Spotlight Client application. The MSI installer offers a silent installation of the Spotlight Client application designed for local client machines. Once the installer is downloaded, right-click on the executable to run as administrator. Note you must use an account that's an administrator to accomplish a successful installation. The installation provides two types of installations, typical and compact. The typical option offers remote installation, whereas the compact option offers installations on the local host. Use the deployment guide and release notes for installation's best practices and latest features of the particular release. The sizing wizard shows how to best deploy the playback and repository databases. And lastly, the link to the tutorial video on how to perform the installation. In this exercise, we'll choose the typical option. Both the typical and compact options will pre-select the client and the diagnostic server installation options. Either can be unchecked if needed. Once you've selected your preferred installation type, the wizard will require your acceptance of the license agreement. Click Accept to proceed. You can help us improve product quality by providing your feedback. Next, choose the option of the location of your diagnostic server. In this exercise, we'll choose the local system. By default, the installation destination path is on the program files quest software folder. This path can be changed as needed. Next, select the domain account to be used as a diagnostic server service account. Enter a domain account credentials or choose a local system account option. Note that this account must be used to start the diagnostic server window services, which acts as the data collector of monitoring host and managing your repository databases. The user must be an administrator on the host where the diagnostic server is installed. The account used as a diagnostic server service account is automatically added to the Spotlight Diagnostic Administrators group. Spotlight offers three Windows groups to help you manage user-level access to the features and functions of the application. Add Spotlight user accounts to at least one group here, or use the Windows Users and Group Console once the installation is completed to add the additional users. To find out more about how to manage access to Spotlight features, visit the Permissions to Spotlight section of the Spotlight Help Guide. The next screen in the installation process is where we need to configure the playback database. A diagnostic server installation requires a playback database to store the captured information so you can play back the data at a later time. Choose an instance and enter your credentials to create the database. The next screen allows you to define the location where you'd like the data and log files of this database to reside. The installer will indicate the success of creation of the database. Once the database is created, click Next to proceed. This section will define the location of the Spotlight Client application. The default installation destination is Program Files x86 Quest Software. Change a path as needed. The final screen will show the validation of the options you've selected. Feel free to go back and adjust them as needed. Click Start to initialize the installation. Once installation is complete, the finished screen 
will default to start the application. The green dot next to the diagnostic server status bar located at the bottom right corner of your screen indicates a successful installation of the diagnostic server. It also validates that the Spotlight client application can successfully communicate with the diagnostic server and that the playback database is correctly configured. Use the connection manager to establish your connections and to start monitoring and managing the health of your environment. To learn more about Spotlight on SQL Server Enterprise, visit us at support.quest.com or for quick questions, follow us on Twitter at Quest Experts.